What's up guys? So today's uh, objective is to break this down, get all the accessories, the sensors that I need, the harness, basically anything that can be transferred to the K24A1 needs to come off. So I'm gonna probably time-lapse the majority of this job just because there's just so much to do. Um, so enjoy. All right, so in that whole time lapse, I was pretty much working on, you know, I got the alternator off, the AC compressor, both of which I do plan on using. I got the wire harness, which is good because there's zero cuts on it. I just need to get all this uh, speaker wiring junk off it. So that's nice and clean and done. So I got to put that off to the side. Uh, next, it's going to be starter, uh, probably the slave cylinder, coil packs. Uh, I kind of want to inspect the tensioner just to see what it looks like. Uh, VTEC solenoid. Uh, I'll probably replace these studs. There's like uh, two broken studs. I have them, so I might as well just replace them for whoever decides to buy it. Uh, intake manifold is like a two piece if you're familiar with it it has like a separate set of butterflies that open a lot of cars have that but uh, I will just leave this off I don't feel like putting it back on just leave it the way it is and then probably um, get the transmission off I think I, you know I have enough energy and time to do it tonight so I might as well so that's what I'm gonna be working on All right, so my half shaft and my axle are stuck together. Back when I did my EG, I looked up a trick and basically what I did was put a um, socket that fits pretty good between half shaft and axle, hammer it in, and it kind of just pries it apart. So let's see if it works. Well, that spread it out a little bit, maybe need to put a bigger one axle grease is put it everywhere I'm gonna get a bigger socket or a smaller socket fit it in between all right so here's round two this is a 19 millimeter looks like it's kind of working Uh, maybe try to fit a bigger one in again. Let's try this big one. <clears throat> there we go. I think I'll do another hit. Uh, and it's out. Sweet. So that trick worked. Look at that. Disgusting. So yesterday left off, I was about to take off the clutch. It's a new day, got the energy, so now I'm gonna finish it up. All right, so I got all the bolts off. Pressure plate. Ooh, stinky. 
Exedi. So it's an Exedi clutch. That's interesting. Plenty of meat on it. Not that I'm going to reuse it. And the flywheel. I mean, it's got some burnt marks. I'm going to take it off now. Probably won't record it just because, I don't know, probably boring to watch all that. So I'm going to bust these all off just so I get a better look at it. And then that's pretty much all I need to do on this motor. So let me get started. All right, so I got it down and I don't think you could really tell, but this thing is toast. It's got crazy amount of heat marks. So yeah, I'm probably gonna just have to scrap this. It's just not gonna work for me. So now that I know that's going on, I need to get a complete clutch kit. I was hoping to save some money, but it's the way the game goes. All right, so got the transmission over here. And like I did earlier in the last video, got the oven cleaner. So we're just gonna spray this off and see if it works the magic it did on that rack. All right, I'm gonna just let it sit. All right, so between the uh, oven cleaner and a little brake clean and just a quick scrub with a brush, it is it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So, I mean, that's basically the majority of it. Now I could just, you know, get in there, the crevices and whatnot, like a toothbrush, get all the grease out. So I'm gonna drain I'm gonna drain this out into a pan, see what it looks like. Hopefully no metal, cross our fingers. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for today after I do that. So, what the Well, that is some of the dirtiest transmission fluid I've ever seen. It was like black. So, dirty, yes. Metallic, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not much of a test per se, but if it was really messed up, I think there'd be some metallic in there. So let's hope it's all good and just dirty. Of course, you know, it's gonna get some new transmission fluid later on, fresh coat of paint. And I think it'll clean up well because my transmission looked just as bad in the EG as this one. Okay, well, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. K283 is basically stripped down to I think everything I needed to do to it. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to sell it this weekend. If not, no biggie. I'll just keep a spare motor on the side. I'm not really stressed over it. Um, finally, the K24 A1. I will have time to do the VTEC killer setup and explain to you how to do it. I know I said it was gonna be this video, but I kind of wanted to get this all broken down and if I could get rid of the A3. So that's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any questions, hit me up on Instagram, egchris92. Till next time, later.